In this video, we will study about morphology of coffee plant. Coffee plant's botanical name is also called as Coffea arabica and this belongs to family Rubiaceae. Now what is morphology? These are the external characters of the plant. Now we can see this is the coffee plant. Now, In this slide, we will discuss about its morphology. A plant is woody and this is in the form of a shrub or in the form of a tree. Now height of the tree may vary from 15 to 30 feet in height and it has two types of branches. One branches are called as orthotropic and second they are called as plagiotropic branches. Now we can see this is the coffee plant. This is its main stem and these are its branches. Uh, orthotropic branches mean like if we have a stem like this, if the branches go straight, this is orthotropic. And if they arise at an angle, this is plagiotropic. So this is plagiotropic when it is arising at an angle. And if this is going straight, this is called as orthotropic. So this is about its branching pattern. Now next is about its main stem. Main stem is quite woody in nature. This is the main stem. Uh, because of secondary growth, this become hard in nature. So plant is evergreen, doesn't shed its leaves. Now we can see its leaves. Now leaves, they are born on the main stem. And they are opposite, smooth, glossy and evergreen. They are not shed. So they remain on the plant for the whole year. Their shape is ovate or elliptical in shape. Margins are undulate. And each leaf bears in its axil lot of buds, which will get converted to flowers. Now we can see the structure of the leaves. We can see here, uh, this is the leaf margin. This part is the leaf margin. This is the apex, tip is called as apex and this its color is shiny green in color and if we are talking about its margins which are showing undulations, it is like this, like undulation mean this is like this, apex is like acute like this. So this is apex, these are margins which are showing undulation and in the axil of the leaf arise lot of parts which will later on get converted to flowers uh, or we can say inflorescence. Now inflorescence is group of flowers which is arising in the axil of the leaves. Now this inflorescence bears white star like fragrant flowers. Flowers they are produced in flushes mean uh, they will be repeatedly produced in three or four times in a year. They will open in the morning, they will blossom in the morning and they will uh, fade till midday. And this ovary of the fruit, ovary of the flowers, they will ripen to form the fruit after fertilization. Now this is the fruit of the coffee plant. Now fruits, young fruits of coffee, they are green in color, but later on they turn crimson red in color. When they turn crimson red in color, they are called as cherries. A fruit is one or two seeded droop. A single seeded fruit is called pea berry. We'll just explain in the next slide. Now we can see here, uh, this is the coffee plant and these are its green fruits. Later on when it ripen up, this turn crimson red in color and they are present in clusters. Now if we see the uh, structure of coffee fruit, uh, now this is the fruit, inside two seeds are there. right? And if we see its structure, this is the outermost covering of the fruit called as exocarp. And this is the middle covering called as mesocarp. This is the inner covering called as endocarp. And here two seeds are there. And these two seeds are bounded by a silvery skin or parchment membrane. And seed encloses endosperm and embryo. So these are two seeds of the fruit. Uh, now here we can see these are the two seeds. And this is the fruit. So fruit is bounded on the outer side by pericarp as we have seen in the figure. This is the exocarp or pericarp. Uh, this is a deep crimson red in color. Then uh, this is the mesocarp which is yellowish and fleshy. Then an innermost is the endocarp. Now this uh, endo inner to endocarp are present two seeds which are ellipsoidal or oval in shape and these seeds they are called as coffee beans. Now each seed is covered by delicate silvery seed coat. 
uh, groove is conspicuous mean we can see here this is the groove this is the groove of the coffee bean or coffee seed seed encloses endosperm along with small embryo as we have seen in the previous slide so this is the endosperm and this is the embryo what happens uh, when fruit ripens up right like we have seen here in this slide uh, this is the fruit and it has two seeds over here right sometime uh, two seeds they are not fertilized only one is fertilized so this will here uh, out of the two only one will develop into seed then it is called as pea berry now we can see here in this figure this is the fruit and this is the seed only one seed is there now its shape is not like it's not flattened right and this is rounded so this is pea berry so this single seeded fruit is known as pea berry so this is different from the other berry where there are two seeds uh, this is expensive also rare also it and it has a different kind of taste as compared to uh, this these coffee beans so how coffee raising is done it's done from its seeds now coffee plants are raised from seeds they will germinate first they have to be germinated converted into young seedling and then young seedling then they later on they are transplanted into the field where we want to raise the coffee plants how coffee harvesting is done it's done by two techniques like if we take a coffee plant and we just shake it shake its branches and coffee fruits they will fall down and we can collect it right so this is called as strip picking all of the cherries are striped off the branch at one time and it can done either by machine or by hand uh, second is uh, we can employ the labor and they can manually pick up the crimson red color cherries or uh, coffee beans present on the main plant so this is called as manual harvesting so this is all about morphology of coffee and how it is being harvested thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you